Yo, what's up, YouTube? Saturday, Saturday stream tips. We're gonna talk about how this phone, these cell phones, can be detrimental to your workout. Let's get into it. Yeah. Hold up. Hold up. Get right with you. Get right with you. Bad bitches, fuck up and dismiss it. Bad. Hold up. Hold up. Get right with you. Now, back to the topic at hand. Glad for everybody tuning in. How can a cell phone mess up my workout, Walker? How can this mess up my workout? Okay. Well, for one, when you turn this on, it disrupts the body's rhythm. Okay. And I'm just talking about just turning it on with the lights, the glaring batteries and stuff. It disrupts our body's rhythm. Even showed a study that it found that 20 minutes to 50 minutes had a rise in glucose levels. Now, why is that important? Well, I mean, when you're at the gym and you're trying to work out hard to change the way you look or for health benefits, you need all the energy that you can get. So basically, by turning this on, it's taking away the pre-workout that you could be using towards your body and your lifting goals. It's giving it to your brain. Now, the brain doesn't know what's going on when you're working out. It doesn't know that you're lifting weights when you're lifting weights. That's not how it works. The body thinks that you're falling down a cliff. Okay, sorry about that, y'all. Okay, back to it. For one, when you're lifting weights or doing some type of resistance training, what's going on in the body is that your body thinks that you're falling down a cliff. Literally. That's what's going on. You're straining on rep four or five or pushing real hard on rep six or seven okay it's tearing up little micro tears into the body that's where the pump comes from if you were to get shot in your leg a lot of blood would come out because the body senses energy we have a muscle tear there. We got to send blood there. So blood's going to leak out there. That's where your pumps come from. That's why your muscles appear to seem to get bigger when you do resistance training. Because more blood is going there. Because the body is sensing something is damaging. Now when you go home and recover, the muscle fibers, they all recover and come together. And they get harder and bigger and stronger. So the next time that happens to your body, you're stronger. It's gonna be, you, you're gonna have to fall down harder down the cliff because your body has recovered and it remembers that. What this does is that for one, it takes away the body's rhythm, okay? And number two, it also causes different hormones to go on inside your body that are crucial when you're working out. One important one is cortisol. That's a stress hormone. Now, I'm not saying that this causes stress, but a lot of things that we use this for can cause stress and anxiety. Like for one, social media. Instagram, TikTok, Twitter, uh, text messages from bosses, a text message from an ex. That can all change the body's rhythm all by itself. This will just do it all by itself just by looking at it. So imagine you scrolling along during your set, looking at other messages that you really shouldn't be reading while you're trying to do something with your body is already disrupting your rhythm even more. 
So I see I see a lot of girls and guys now, you know, they'll 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 do a set and then they'll get on their phone and wait for their body to recover, thinking that they're passing time to do the next set. When in reality, what you're doing is you're wasting time and wasting precious energy and strength that you could have used to push yourself more. A lot of fitness influencers that we see now, you know, they may post out a workout video and stuff like that. You got to understand that these people have been working out for decades, years, a long time, you know. After doing something for a little while, it starts to get old. So, you know, they do little hacks and tricks just to keep them motivated. But they've already been doing it for years. So if you're trying to get a jump start on being a healthy you or being a stronger you, don't do that. Just don't. I made my best gains personally in my life. There was nobody in the gym, and I never looked at my phone during the workout. Never. Now, some of y'all that know me, y'all know I, I must do social media a lot. I do. Not so much at a gym. If you're going to a gym worrying about Wi-Fi or a hotspot, we're already losing. In reality, you should be working out for about 30 to 45 minutes. You can't not look at your phone for 30 or 45 minutes. You can't do that to keep your body rhythm in a state to where you're at a place to work out, to get bigger, to get stronger. Now, I understand, you know, everybody's different. We all have jobs and stuff. You know, if you got to take a call, you got to take a call. I'm not saying it's going to kill your workout to pick up the phone and take a call. That's important. What's not important when you're trying to work out and really build a better you is checking up on emails and being on social media. That's the worst time to be on social media is in between sets. Like I said, it already throws your body's rhythm off on top of other anxiety cortisol hormones that can rise up by going to different apps and seeing who's commenting on this one. Uh, 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 I didn't get a like on this. Oh, I lost a follower. You're not going to be as strong as you were not knowing that stuff while you're trying to work out. So, in tolling this all, just be advised about how this can help you. This can help. It's got plenty of information. Everybody uses phones now. It can help. But where it's not really going to help and can hurt you is while you're trying to work out. Make sure when you work out, you're not paying attention or give anybody your time except for your body. When you go to a gym or a facility where you're paying money for to get better, get better. Use that time to be selfish and just focus on you. And you will have a much better success at staying consistent on building a better you and you'll see your body change that's all i got to say this is the truth i've used it i've done it so i'm just trying to give my followers some truth and uh let's get a jump start on them for the new year's resolutions where all the gyms well most of the gyms are going to be packed and stuff and just remember this walker fact and watch your body change. Flavors, keep the brushes moving. Fit fam, y'all stay moving, stay grooving. And remember, in the end, you can do it.
Walker knows why.